We're going to look at the pelvic clock now. The pelvic clock is a pre-Pilates exercise, not a Pilates proper exercise. Uh, it's an exercise to create awareness in the pelvic area, awareness and control. And it's great to wake up your pelvic floor muscles as well. Um, I've asked Camila to lie on her back with her feet wider than hip width apart. That makes it more comfortable and easier with the movement. We're going to start with small tilts as you're going to do in many, many classes. So just tilting the pelvis back and tilting the pelvis forward. Good. It's easy to exhale to tilt back and inhale to tilt forward. So let's do it a few more times. Exhale to tilt and inhale forward. And as you do that, as you repeat that, imagine your pelvis lying on a clock face. So under the tailbone, it's number six. And as you tilt back, kind of under your navel would be number 12. So you go six and 12. Inhale to 6, exhale to 12. Good. Do it a few more times and make sure that as you do that, it does not create tension around your shoulders, your chest, your neck, your breath. Okay. That's the easiest movement on the clock. A slightly more confusing, maybe, would be to go from 3 to 9. So three would be under your left hip bone and nine would be under your right hip bone. So you're going to tilt the weight of the pelvis. Good. And through center, oops, just through center, towards nine. And three o'clock. And then nine o'clock. And I'm going to hold Camila's knees for her so she can isolate a little bit better going towards nine and center, and three, and center, and the weight goes to nine, and center, the weight goes to three, and center, good, and a couple more, nine o'clock, and center, and three o'clock, and center, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So now we're going to go around the clock. To do that, we're going to start by going to 12. Good. And now we're going to go around. So the weight goes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Inhale as you go towards 6. Exhale as you come back towards 12. Inhale as you go towards 6. Exhale towards 12. Let's do it a couple more times. And I'm sure that if you're doing it at home, not just observing, you will find that some parts of the circle feel very natural and other parts of the circle feel a little bit more tight. Especially if, like Camilla here, you have children, you are pregnant, and maybe your body has not recovered completely in a balanced way from the pregnancy, from childbirth. So this would be a great exercise. Let's reverse the direction. So, going around the clock from 12 to 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Exhale as you go around the clock back to 12. Inhale around the clock to 6, exhale around the clock to 12, and inhale towards 6, and exhale to 12, and come back to neutral. Okay, so these are the basic movements that we do in the clock. Uh, if you want to play with that, you can just do whatever you want. So you can think, I'm going to go from 12 to 1, then I'm going to go across to 7, around the clock to nine. Now I'm going to go to three, to six, etc., etc. Just move around the clock, around it, and across it in whatever way you want to develop more awareness, more pelvic floor engagement, and also release across the pelvis 
and the lower back. That's all, the pelvic claw.